Allah is unto the elders and apostles of great wisdom for teaching us these scriptures. Right. All praises and glory and honors do to Yahweh Ba Hashem Shal Yahushai. Right? And salutations to the elect. Men push the truth in the highways and byways. Alright, so we just want to do a quick lesson on the afflictions that we the men and Lord will go through. Facing all sorts of persecutions, tribulations and whatnot. And Mosai has the, his, his um even has his methods in which he's doing it. Right. And we can't question those methods. We have to just read the scriptures and submit ourselves and understand. Read Psalm. Psalms 34 and verse 8, verse 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, mm -hmm. but Jehovah delivered them, delivered him out of them all. So he didn't hide and tell you that hey, I'm going to choose some and this and so forth. The most I saying he goes through a lot of affliction. And he also mentioned Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. So He's gonna he's gonna put us through this affliction for a particular purpose, but he's gonna deliver us out of all so that we can learn something and grow according to his master plan. Uh, Job. It is Job chapter eleven and verse six. And that he would show thee secrets of wisdom mm. that they are double to that which is. So most is gonna show us a lot of secrets. And a lot of secrets requires a lot of things that we must go through to learn these secrets, alright? And it's more than what we think it is, because his counsel, no who can know it, the scripture says, brother. Know therefore that Yahweh exacted of thee less than thy iniquities deserve it. To the most I give you the exact measurement of what we deserve. Less, slightly, less than what we deserve. Because none of us deserve this wisdom and understanding, none of us deserve this consciousness, this, this life. Being an Israelite, none of us deserve any of this. But out of his, out of his infinite wisdom, his perfect, perfect counsel, he exact um, less than what we deserve. And, um, Just to expound on what you were saying, right? That most we'll exact less than what your iniquities deserve. What are you talking about? Talking about the, the sins that you do, you know, in your past life or whether before you come to the truth, yeah. you know. What you iniquities deserve for, for sleeping with the next man's wife was death. But what do you most say do it? Yeah. Just giving you a little affliction with little money or something. Exactly. It's less than what your iniquities deserve. Or a little uh, celibacy, you know, but right. we got brothers out there who's complaining that woe is me spirit that they that they hold on to and they won't let go of the woe is me spirit. So sometimes some stop sulking and just buck up and face the face the affliction like a man. You know, my brother, me and my brother did a lesson. She's pretty how about Hashem Yahushai. Gird up your loins like a man and take correction like a man. Oh. Go to um, Sirach 22 and 6. You know? It is Sirach chapter 22 and verse 6. It says, A tale out of season is as music in mourning. So somebody come telling you a tale that you really want to hear at this point in time. Like nobody want to hear the land, land story. It's like somebody come and play oh happy day on, on your father funeral. You know? Now's not time for now it's time for more. Now it's time for you know vent and just vent the emotion because you can't run from certain things is basically what it's saying. Brother. But stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time. And stripes are talking about affliction right. and correction of wisdom. It's never out of time. And it's most side wisdom, not earthly wisdom. It's never out of time. So we are in the truth at the exact time the most I want we to be. We doing this video at the exact time the most I um, align this video to be done. And you can watch this video <laughs> at the exact time. How about Hashem Yahushua align? So you can get, can you, can you might watch, look at this video when you're going through some affliction, some, yeah. some persecution. And then this video is going to give the exhortation. Not to, to, to keep any faith. Exactly. And um, it was for an exact amount of people as well. Yeah. You know, the elect. I remind me the movie Adjustment Bureau. You know, um, most I will people will listen to that. But go to um, Romans 8 and 28. Yeah, it is um, Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. It says, 
and we know that all things work together for good to them that love it Yahweh. so all things don't work out for the good not some things not um, specific things that's only spiritual all things even carnal things can work out pretty good so if you lose your job you lose your wife you lose your mind no side powerful enough to bring it back and it, um read it back again from my bible question and we know that all things to work mean, we and it says and we know you're supposed to know this no side didn't create you to fail okay and we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh. Right. to them who are who are the called according to his purpose okay, and, and it's for those that love Yahweh, all things work out to the best right. pretty good for the most i will because only his will is good you can't tell the most i give me a better job and he watch you in this job so you can wake up another brother watch you in this job so you can wind wicked and so forth give me one more precept out give me first corinthians 10 and 13. You know, all things work pretty good. So there's no such thing as coincidence. Coincidence is the biggest myth ever. That's that's a, that word coincidence is a myth, you know. Yeah, it is um first Corinthians chapter ten and verse thirteen. There at no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. So the most I ain't gonna bring nothing that you don't that you're not aware of. The most I not bring some random thing. You know, like if a brother and the brother never had a, had a, had um trouble with temptation, why would he bring te uh, some temptation? Trouble with um smoking, why would he bring smoking? Inside the most I know you, so you can tempt you where you where 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 you know you can succeed. Right? Um, but Yahweh, which slap, there are no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Mosai won't give more than you could bear. So the Mosai exact it at the exact time, and he know you could bear it. He didn't make it a fail. All right. Kwam Yashuralo. Yeah. But will, but will, would the temptation also make a way to escape? See, get the cheat codes. Give me the cheat codes, the scriptures with the cheat codes. No man complaining my life is this and life is that. And all the answers right here. All you gotta do is submit yourself to the scriptures. That ye may be able to bear it. Right. Ye may be able to bear it. Most I gonna see no you body master live a hundred pounds and show a ten for it. The body got it. And show the ten and next know the way to crush you. No, the most I love us, and give you exactly this, this all the afflictions we went through to know that you can make it, buddy. So don't give up, Israel. Stand strong, believe in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Keep praying, keep fasting, keep doing the works. Stop sulking. We are almost out of this, and with that, pray that this lesson was edifying. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Never honestly, your pastor's nails are great, and so on as teaching. Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Amerindians, scattered in the four corners and the confusion of places of the world. Shalom.